morning, citizens! This week, we've got two games that topped Nindy Nation's past Game of the Year lists, one of my favorite hidden indie gems, and a cheap little bonus game for only two bucks. All of these Nindies are at their lowest prices ever, and the deals expire in just a few days. So let's take a look at the latest eShop bargains that you don't want to miss. 2018 was Nindy Nation's very first year, as well as the year when I discovered what would become one of my favorite games for the Nintendo Switch. Owlboy was a labor of love developed by D-Pad Studio over the course of a decade, and since its 2018 release on the eShop, it's only been discounted a handful of times. Now that it's 60% off for just $9.99, it's a better time than ever to dive into this incredible tale of an outcast who just wants to do right by the people closest to him. While it blends a couple of different genres, I'd say that Owlboy is best described as an action-adventure, akin to a 2D Zelda title that's mostly linear with a bit of exploration. You play as Otis and explore this beautiful pixel art world by flying around, but you interact with it by working with your friends who can be used as weapons, shields, or pieces of the various intricate puzzles you'll be faced with throughout your journey. What starts out as a simple errand for Otis quickly spirals into a life-or-death race to save the world from ruin. You'll meet a small but memorable cast of characters as you experience the many twists and turns that make up one of my favorite stories in gaming, and it's all set to the backdrop of a best-in-class orchestral score. Every part of Owlboy is polished to perfection, which I don't say lightly. And though it is hard to compare to other games, or even fit into an exact genre, the formula is comprised of elements that any gamer would recognize. For only 10 bucks, this is a great way to spend 8 to 12 hours, and it comes complete with Nindy Nation's highest recommendation. Twenty twenty was an outstanding year for indie games, what with Ori and the Will of the Wisps, Streets of Rage 4, and Hades to name a few, but it was hands down Panzer Paladin that took home the Nindy Nation crown, and until November 7th, it's 60% off for only $7.99. This is a retro-styled action platformer that pulls out all the stops to deliver a classic-styled game with modern touches just like we saw with Ninja Turtles Shredder's Revenge earlier this year which makes sense as both were developed by Tribute Games. Falling somewhere between Ninja Gaiden and Castlevania, the game it shares the most similarities with is actually Metal Storm for the NES, as you take control of a hulking mech and its faster, nimbler pilot. What Panzer Paladin offers beyond a glowing homage to 2D action is its unique and varied weapon system. As you defeat enemies, you can collect their swords, spears, axes, and more to arm yourself to the teeth, using them to buff out your stats, heal, or even destroy, which leads to awesome screen-clearing attacks. It's no walk in the park, that much is for sure, but two different difficulty options allow you to experience the 6-8 hour campaign in a way that best suits your tolerance for challenge. There's a couple game modes to explore as well as a custom weapon creator too, so there's reason to come back even after you roll the credits. So if you're looking for a genuine retro experience that stands alongside games like Shovel Knight, The Messenger, and Bloodstained, Panzer Paladin should be right up your alley. And then, after those two games, which, in my opinion, epitomize greatness in their respective genres, we move on to something that, well, I just had a great time with. Do you like Castlevania Symphony of the Night? <laughs> I can tell you the team behind 3000th Duel certainly does, because they took that premise and made a low-budget, non-linear exploration platformer that checks all the boxes while adding deeper combat, more movement abilities, and a bit of Souls-like flair where death requires you to track down the currency you lost wherever you last perished. The game is definitely a bit janky, so don't go in expecting AAA polish, but at 70% off, $4.49 is well worth it if you enjoy grindy Metroidvanias, especially if you tend to throw a show or podcast on in the background. It's great for that. 
Some of the systems can be a bit obtuse, and you'll surely get lost on occasion, but there are plenty of guides available online, and since release, the game saw a couple of significant free expansions that makes it an easy 15 plus hour experience. Double that if you go for 100% completion. Last up for the week is a quick little $2 game that is tailored for parents who'd like to introduce your kids to a charming little isometric action adventure. Headland is all about a kid exploring the worlds inside of his imagination, which are filled with silly creatures and bright, fun levels. Think of this game as an overly simple mix between Zelda and ukulele. It's got collectathon elements, puzzles, platforming segments, and even an experience system, so revisiting levels for missed items is always a productive use of time. It's got a humorous story with voice acting in tow, and difficulty options that should suit any level of ability. I don't know that it's complex enough to keep the attention for most citizens in our nation of Nindy, but for kids? A 90% discount can deliver a surprising amount of bang for your two bucks. And if you have kids, you know that two bucks rarely goes very far. Let me know down in the comments what's jiving your turkey from today's list, and make sure to check out this week's episode of Nindy Nation or our latest Nindies at Night stream. You can also follow us on Twitter, and if you're looking to hang with some like-minded indie game fans, be sure to stop by our Discord server. If you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more indie gaming goodness, and share it with others to help us grow. Until next week, I'm Jeff, this has been Nindy Nation, and thank you for watching.